Hello, hello everyone in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace to be everybody. How is everyone doing? I am doing great, thank God. In the ups and downs of life, I'm okay. Thank God. I'm, I'm, I'm thriving by the power of the Lord God. Today, I'm going to share with you from the Word of God. And uh, it's found in the book of Psalms 118 verse 27. I'm going to read it and uh, share with you. God is the Lord, which has showed us light. God is the Lord, who, which has showed us light. Um, this is the King James Bible, the King James Translation. Uh, my Bible, my book is a, 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 a large print, a King James. 1611. I love it. I, I like it very much. I love it. Um, but people say it is um, a lot of pastors and um, Bible teachers, they say it is in a, 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 a God breathed and an inspiration, uh, an inspired word like the Hebrew and the Greek. But the fact is, uh, it is a translation. It is a translation. It was translated from a uh, 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 the Old Testament Hebrew and the New Testament Greek. And uh, for those people who say that the King James Bible is inspired and it is 100% uh, um, perfect, uh, I can tell you there are some, some issues which we, when we study uh, we, we find in the King James Bible because it is a translation. It is the best translation but it is not perfect, like God breathed, as God breathed. For example, this verse which I'm sharing you today is say something and uh, the English Bible says something else. Uh, what it is says is um, in that verse, um, God, um, it says, uh, God is the Lord which has showed us light, which has showed us light. But when you read the Hebrew, the Hebrew Bible, the uh, it, it the, the translation is uh, uh, that, that it gives you a little bit a little bit different meaning. El Yehovah vayaer lanu, El Yehovah vayaer lanu, which it says God is Yehovah, the Lord is Yehovah. I mean, God is Yehovah, and has lighted upon us. He himself is light. The Hebrew says, He himself, God himself is light. You know, to to, to give light to to give light to someone and to be light to someone is quite different. There is a difference. So God himself, the Hebrew, the original says, God himself is light and he lighted upon us. He became light for us. Um, God himself is the, 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 the source of light, the source of light which lightens our darkness. Um, here um, we can read um, some other part of the Bible concerning the light. The Bible is full of light. It is full of light, figuratively uh, uh, talking about in a parabolical manner, talking about God himself about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For example, in uh, Gen Genesis chapter 1, God says, let there be light, and there was light. Let there be light, there was light. That was the first day, in the first day of uh, creation, before even the light, the, the moon, the, the sand was created. Uh, before all the lights were created, God gave us something there. God said, let there be light. Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that was good. So from Genesis 1, uh, chapter 1, up to Revelation, the last book of the Bible, um, it is full of light. It is full of light. It's, it talks about light in one way or another way. But God himself is light. And um, in um, 
the book of um, uh, the gospel of John chapter 1 verse 5 what did it say in him was life and the life was the light of men in him was life was talking about Jesus Christ and the life the life was the light of men is a light for you and for me for whosoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was the light. He sacrificed his life for us so that he gave us life. So that he gives us light. light. And um, je, uh, the, chapter 3, uh, verse 19. This is a condemnation, says Jesus Christ. This is a condemnation that light has come into the world, but men loved Darkness rather than light. So Jesus is the light. Jesus Christ is light. And God is light. He himself is light. In John chapter 8 verse 12. I am the light of the world. Whosoever follows me shall not, shall not walk in darkness. But have the light of life. The light of life. Jesus Christ is our light. Thank God. Jesus Christ is our light. Who lightens our heart. Our inner being. And gives us wisdom. The wisdom of God. The power of God. So that we can understand. What God is teaching us. What God is talking to us. And follow the word of God. The will of God. Um, you know, um, in, I'm going to read some other uh, part of the Bible. Um, um, 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5. This then is a message which we have heard of him. About him? About Jesus. This is a message that we have heard of him. It's about God. It's about God, the Almighty God. And declare unto you that God is light, and in Him there is no darkness at all. God is light. In Him there is no darkness. There is no darkness. At this time, people are using try, try to, to use us for their advantage in political and, uh, and some other issues. You know, If we are Christians, God is our light and God is our guide. His word is the light. The light. Thy word is a light unto my feet. We have to follow God. Don't Listen to those liars. Don't listen to them. Listen to the word of God. You know, when it comes, when it comes to our faith, we, we have to believe we are Christians. If we are Christians, we are Christians. It doesn't matter we are black. We, 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 don't, we don't play with that one, okay? We just believe in the Lord God. And make the right decision when we uh, involve in, in election. We have to pray. First, we have to pray and elect that, you know, according to the will of God. First, pray, bring the thing before God, and whatever the Spirit of God is within you, witnesses uh, within you, just make election. Do, do the election. Go to the, uh, the vote uh, and vote. Go and vote. But you don't have to be deceived by these politicians. They use your color to just know, oh, African-American, black people, you are just to know, uh, you have been humiliated and that and this. Okay, just follow whatever God says. A righteous man it follows the, listens to the word of God and makes decision according to the word of God. Not uh, those, uh, you know, by 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 the words of the liberals, uh, the words that come out of the mouths of uh, liberals and godless people. We believe in the Lord God and make decision upon based on the word of God, not 
not by the, 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 the words of those uh, politicians, no. Please don't play the card of politics. Don't use race and other issues. We believe that though we elect godly people because we believe in God. I'm not black. I am black in race, but you know, I believe in my 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 faith is more than my color. My the color of the skin. I believe in God. Whatever you are, African American or African or whoever you are, it doesn't matter. What matters is what you believe in and your informed decision, the decision which comes, you know, uh, your, uh, your intent. If you believe in God, you have to elect godly, godly men and women. You don't have to go around and elect whatever, because we did. We, we did in Obama. We elect the people. El I didn't. I thank God I didn't elect Obama. But, you know, a lot of black people, they hoped and elected him. Yeah, he said, yes, we shall. We can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yeah, he can. He did whatever he wanted to do. But he did nothing for uh, black people. He, he did nothing. Look, uh, uh, Chicago, what's happening there? The leader over there is, 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 uh, is, uh, is um, you know, uh, Obama's man, Ram Emanuel. He's a man, uh, you know, appointed by Obama. Still, the black people are dying there. So you have to play, you have to pray and make decisions. Please don't listen to those liars. Don't be taken, driven, driven, driven by whatever their intent. They try to buy their, your vote. They, they don't stand for you. It is enough, my brothers and sisters. It is enough. It is enough. Let's listen to the word of God and make decision. And learn from God and pray before Him and then make your decision because God is light. We just, we just don't be tossed by the powers of darkness here and there. Don't be tossed by the power of darkness, but move by the, the, the power of light, which is God. God is our light. And we believe in God, and God can help us in, in these issues. And thank you very much uh, for um, uh, listening, and God bless you. Until another time, may God richly bless you. Thank you.